Right, hi everybody. Um, I thought I'd run this by you. This is something I'm trying to tackle. Um, haven't been, I've only just started it this morning. This quilt is my son's. He had it when he was a baby. And I don't know, if, if you're not in the UK, you might not know what a jumble sale is. But basically, it's where vintage or things people don't want, somebody stands at the front of a hall with it and holds it up like an auction but very, very cheap. So I went with my nana in 1987, when my son was about four months old, to a jumble sale in the church hall near where my nana lived. And she bought this for James for 60p, which is pennies, 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 less than a pound. And I used it with him when he was a baby and it was laundered and things. And it's so much, love in this blanket because my nana bought it and then she passed away a couple of months later um, and James adores it and he's asked me for it because he now has a baby and I said but son it's falling to bits and look I mean it's really falling to bits um, and these things here worn away there's a lot of this going on um, and this binding is just so loose everywhere so what I'm thinking of doing, I've started this morning just trying to secure the binding with a bit of hand stitch, um, with a colour, I don't have a lot of colours and stuff, but so just really securing this and then once this is secure, I'll launder it, I'll wash it and then I'll ask him what he wants me to do. I did think I could patch these areas. Um, but to be fair, it's like nearly the whole thing. I mean, look, it's everywhere. So whether he just wants me to secure the binding, launder it, and it's just something he wants to have in his possession, or whether he wants me to patch everything, and then he can use it with his little boy that he's just had this baby. Um, so I just thought I'd run that by you because it's a bit, I mean, look, it's a bit unusual a task for me, this. But it just means so much to me and to James um, that I feel like it needs to be preserved, whether used or just folded up and put, or just maybe laid on the edge of James's baby's bed, something not properly used. So I just thought I'd show you this is something that I'm cracking on with. And I'm getting quite emotional when I'm working on it, actually, because I remember vividly the auction and my nanny going, I'll give you 60p for it and the woman throwing it at her and saying it's yours Beryl, she was called Beryl um, and then her saying here have this for him, meaning James and then she passed away a couple of months later so it's just, well I mean I know I don't even have to say it, you probably get what I'm talking about, okay.